Brianna is next, followed by Rochelle. Hello, my name is Brianna Westbrook. I'm a resident of District 4. I'm going to share a story today of a woman that I met while on the campaign trail when I ran for state representative in District 5 in downtown. It was actually in Councilwoman Stark's district. I'll never forget knocking on her door and having to communicate with somebody that I could not see. The woman opened the door and she, asked, she guided me to her couch and I sat down. And she told me that she couldn't hear. I could tell that because she was tapping her ear and, and she was having a hard time speaking. I introduced myself and my goals for our community. We ended up having a, a conversation on a notepad. And I'll never forget that conversation because it was filled with tears. You see, I have experienced homelessness. I've grown up on state assistance. The things that she told me hit me. She told me that her property that she has been staying in for the last 10 years was recently bought out by an investor. That investor raised her rent with 30 days notice, double. She lived in this, house, this home for almost 10 years. She told me that she loved the community that she lived in because it was close to the grocery store and it was what she's always known. She was scared that she's not going to be able to live somewhere because she only has social security. And now with the rent increase, much, little was left. Things get worse because the landlord told her that they're going to raise the rent for four consecutive months, $100 at a time. You know what's going to happen to this woman? She's going to end up on the streets like many of our unsheltered neighbors. You see, all of these issues are interconnected. And we, all of us, collectively in this room, and all of you, most importantly, because you're elected officials tasked with the duty of representing us, have the power to fix this. You need to fix it. Income discrimination is running rampant around our city, and you've already heard that from many of these members of our society. It's time to step up and do something. So there's no more unsheltered people sleeping on our streets. Rather than continuing to move our unsheltered populations to different corners of our city, continuously moving and disrupting their lives, we can and do, we can and are possible of accomplishing so much more only if we're willing to do it. And I know every single person on this council made promises to the electorate that you asked for when you asked for their vote. I know this because I was a candidate for office and I will be a candidate for office again. You just have to have the moral conviction and courage to do it. So I ask you to step up, please. Protect our most vulnerable. Do your job. Rochelle 